Alright, what is up my friends? Welcome to another episode of Your Deck Live, the show where I play Your Deck live on stream. We got a, a pretty cool one here. Um, this is a Pioneer Teamer Midrange for Pretty Lights Fam. Pretty Lights Fam has been a, a previous uh, contestant, uh, submitter, I don't know, whatever, for uh, Your Deck Live in the past. And uh, we got a spicy one here. We got a kind of a teamer mid rangey deck in Pioneer, playing some cards that I think are very, very good in Pioneer. I think Glory Banger is uh, is really, really good. Uh, I think this card is just excellent in Pioneer. Uh, Pioneer is a very tempo heavy format, and Glory Banger is a fantastic tempo card. It's basically. A 4-4 flying hasted chupacabra, and that's really, really good. Uh, flying is insane. Flying flies over field of a dead tokens. It flies over random ground creatures. It attacks planeswalkers. Uh, kills things. Four toughness. Just great. Glorybringer, really, really good. Uh, Oko, of course, is great also. We're playing the Once Upon a Times that are in every deck and probably should be banned. Um, Mana Acceleration. I think Heart of Kieran's great. Um, I'm not huge on Bone Crush Giant, but it's definitely fine. Uh, Chandra's good. Questing Beast are, is good. Uh, we're kind of covering our bases here. Questing Beast is good against control decks and Field of a Dead decks, and then Wicked Wolf good against the creature decks. Um, and, uh, this is a deck that I, I did, not, did not change at all. Um, usually I'll tune up the decks a little bit before they're your deck live, and realistically, I think everything here is reasonable. Um, I'm not sure about the Lana Rolves versus Gilded Goose split. Um, color requirements might dictate that we actually need Gilded Goose to fix our mana. I think I might prefer Lana Elves in the abstract, but we're going to try it out. Um, Heart of Kieran is fantastic with the large loyalty Planeswalkers. I kind of want a third, although we don't crew it super well without a Planeswalker, uh, but Heart of Kieran is really, really good. Uh, Stubborn Denial is great. I like that one a lot. Um... 22 lands with 8 mana creatures and 4 once upon a time is great. She's got a solid looking deck here, honestly. Sideboard's got counter spells and Mystical Dispute and Stable Stroke, both very reasonable. Uh, a Chandra Awakened Inferno, a nice little top end for control decks. Two Blood Suns for Field of the Dead decks. Two Roasts for just big dumb creatures, it's fine. Uh, two Abrade, very reasonable. Two Magma Spray, very reasonable. Two Eighth Spear Harvester, very reasonable. Everything here looks very reasonable. Um, when we do your deck lives, I tend to tune up the deck a little bit beforehand if there are major issues. Um, not enough lands, the mana base doesn't seem to work, uh, you know, too many three drops, not enough one drops, or whatever it is. Um, but I tend to leave the things that are, if the deck looks solid, I just leave it. And this is a deck that looks solid, so I just left it, didn't change a single thing. Um, it's possible that we're playing too many Bone Crusher Giants, or not enough one drops, or whatever it is, but we'll figure that out as we... Uh, as we go. So, deck seems great. And if you want to know about Your Deck Live, Your Deck Live, again, is a show where I play Your Deck Live on stream. It is now open to the public. That's right. You can have Your Deck played on stream. All you gotta do is pay me. It's as simple as that. And I want to know how to do that? My new website. Check it out. JimDavisMTG.com. Uh, everything's on here. My articles, social media, my sponsors. Uh, we got it right up here. A little about me. If you want to learn a little, little more about me, uh, me and trophies are always cool. Um, streaming, YouTube, and of course, I play your deck, your deck live. You can see the queue right here on the right uh, of the decks we'll be playing in the future, and then everything about uh, how much it costs, what what it entails, the different options for your deck live, how to submit your list, how to donate, logistics and scheduling. It's all here. Check it out, JimDavisMTG.com. If you want to see your deck played live on stream. Otherwise, pretty lights, fam. I assume you're hanging out in chat. Let's roll here and play some more Pioneer. Are you ready, Zibby? Basically. Basically. A reminder that we're brought to you by Coalesce Apparel and Design dot shop. Coalesce Apparel and Design dot shop. Go buy your awesome magic shirts. They're dope. They're super cool. They're super comfortable. And if Sunday, the Sunday after Black Friday has not happened yet and you're watching on Twitch or early on uh, YouTube, well, I got a promo for you. Hold on. I gotta... Everyone look over there for a second. There it is. Bam! Black Friday sale. 50% off. 
off. Don't use my promo code. Use the code Black Friday for 50% off. Go buy your shirts. Great Christmas presents. Great Christmas present. All right? Um, just check it. It's awesome. Call us, Apparel. Designed that shop. We also got CoolStuffInc.com. Number one source for your game shopping needs. Uh, again, Christmas shopping. Go buy your board games, your card games, magic cards. Want to buy a nice... Uh, a nice board game for your friends. Play on game night. Want to buy some magic cards? Whatever it is, CoolStuffInc.com has it. Use promo code Jim5 for 5% off your order on CoolStuffInc.com. And check out my video from yesterday. Um, historic Mono Black Control. Bam. And then check out my article from today. Five things I'm thankful for. A lot of negativity in magic lately. A lot of things, and a lot of negativity and magic lately, but check it out. The five things I'm thankful for, coolstuffinc.com. Check out my articles, video Monday, article Friday, and uh, yeah, get involved, you know? Coolstuffinc.com. Go buy some cards, go read some articles. Having a good time. Easy Mode says, I'm a happy customer of like five deck techs and one year deck live. Gotta say, Jim is good money sink. I'll be donating for a few more year deck lives after how enjoyable that was to watch. Easy Mode, you the bomb. Thank you. Yes, I know it still says donation bonus leaks in the contact page. It's really not the, the worst thing in the world. We'll fix that at some point. You get the picture. You know, you, you get the picture. Let's go. Let's mulligan. Uh, much better. Much better. Um, Lanor Elves... I think I want to ship the goose here. I want the. I don't. I'm not a huge goose fan, honestly. Like this. That this is a great six card hand without goose. Turn one Lanner always turn to turn to Royal Scions. We got Hardik here in. Might even Hardik here in first. We'll see. Mountain. Foundry Street Denizen. Okay. Uh, well, not uh, not great for our hand here. It's honestly a chance we just we just block with this line of rolls. We'll see what they do. Oh, this is a dirty card. I wanted I, I I thought of this card for my my Rakdos vehicle sideboard um, after the tournament. This is a dirty card. Everyone's playing line of rolls. This is a great card to play. Uh, that is brutal. All right. All right. We can hard cure in here, I guess. We could stomp out the Denizen, but hard cure into Royal Science is pretty good. So, the old dirty devil. Sispir. All right. Another Bone Crusher Giant. Pretty sure we just scions. We are shocking to do it, but Wicked Wolf is really good. I'm gonna ship this Questing Beast. I think. Uh, I don't think it's appreciably better than the other cards in our hand, and we want to draw a land next turn and go Wolf. We also go Double Bone Crusher. I think Questing Beast is our worst card, and then I think I want to attack. They have, a, they have a braid in their hand, which is dead, but as long as I don't have a braid, we have pretty, pretty good blocks with the Hardicure in two, so. I like want them to attack Royal Scions anyway, so. Our mana base is definitely kind of painful. The full 12 dual lands hurts. Articure is so good. All right, crew it up. And I think we're blocking Foundry Street Denizen. Save they have a shock, they could double up and kill the uh, thing. All right, you go to eight. Forge Devil number two. It's funny how the Gilded Goose would have been better than the Lana Rolls. Alright, 
Glory banger. All right, uh, we're gonna loot. Stubborn denial is probably not good, uh, but it's better than glory bringer. They are they only have one land to play too, so we're gonna um, I think we're gonna stomp out the Swiss spear where they can't cast spells. We're gonna crew Hardicure and attack. Like, Hardy Kieran attacks four times and they're dead. Or five times and they're dead. It's just awesome. Hardy Kieran's just so good. Yeah. Uh, that's game. Okay, so now we just... Uh, we just, like... Plus on Heart of Kieran? Yeah, probably. Alright, we just ship a turn here. We just have Bone Crusher plus Stubborn Denial. Something we can lose. Alright, I mean, obviously they didn't draw any lands, which is good for us, but we'll take it. A lot of powerful cards in this deck, for sure. A lot of powerful cards. Do I think Heart of Kieran is playable in the mono blacklist? Nah. I think the Heart of Kieran is specifically good if you're playing high loyalty through mana planeswalkers like Oko, Royal Scions. Um, I don't think mono black needs it. Copter's just better. So they're playing like a mono red something strategy. We're going to want these Harvesters, uh, these Magma Sprays. Probably the Abrades. Um, we're gonna wanna cut. Hmm. What do I wanna cut? I guess Stubborn Denial is bad. I think Chandra's probably pretty bad. Uh, we can cut like two Glorybringers. Glorybringers like fine, but not ideal. I think Questing Beast plays offense and defense reasonably well. So I don't really wanna cut, I don't wanna cut that one. Uh, do I want Roast? No, we, we can't cut the Lano Ralphs. It obviously, if they ping off a Lano Ralph with the Devil, that sucks. But we can't just cut the Lano Ralphs. Like, that's just too much, you know. Maybe we just want Roast over Glorybringer. Honestly, we already have a lot of removal. Nah, this is fine. Let's do this. Got a little Oko life gain going on too. It's pretty good. Yeah, the sand is uh is great. Yeah, a lot of tools po post port for sure. Oh, man, they are they are blitzing. Rakdos, Cackler, the goose. Once Upon a Time for Wicked Wolf. Love it. Um, so the question is, do we play the Goose or Llanowar Elf? It's probably just Llanowar Elf. If we Llanowar Elf and they have a Devil, we still get to Stomp next turn or play Goose Tap Land. Um, if, they, if we Goose, then like... I guess Goose leads to a guaranteed turn three wolf. But not we, we, we don't have a food though. It doesn't matter probably. Man, the devil. The devil's just in the details here. I think we just we just elf. Alright, they have a devil. They tap that land so fast. No? Wow. Unleashed. Oh, they keep a one-lander again. Oh, that's not even fun. All right. Heart of Kieran, too. All right. I think we just Heart of Kieran tap land. We could also, like... We could just, like, Shock, Stomp, Goose. Um... Heart of Kieran's not blocking, I guess. 
Yeah, I'll just do that. All right, sure. They could have, like, Titan Strength or something. I'm just going to cast it now. They drew the land. No blocks. Magma Spray ain't bad either. Um, Alright. Let's give him the old Wicked Wolf. I suppose we're going to hit... Uh... Joke! 7 month reset. Welcome back. I hit the Swift Spear. Um, we can spray Cackler all the time. No worries, so. Boulder Rush. Plus two, plus O. Oh. And Prowess. Alright, we'll just sack the food. It's fine. Now we can't Magma Spray, but... We could also just like sack the food to goose and spray the the Suspear in response. That would actually make that would actually fizzle the the three one too and keep our three three back on defense. Never mind, we're doing that. It requires us to use a card, but I think we're like pretty ahead on cards here anyway, so. What's up, Joke? Thanksgiving was great. Hope everyone out there had a great Thanksgiving as well. Burning Tree Emissary. Bring it. Little Bushwhacker action. Nope. Kari Zev. Skyship Captain. Capitan. Uh, Alright. I think we're... I think we... Heart Bone Crusher. Just better blocks. You can crew heart. Go to 11. I think it's fine. And we're not going to attack. They have Menace. They have multiple, you know, attackers here. They were to, like, draw... Uh, uh, Reckless Bushwhacker or whatever, like, I think we're, like, just so far ahead if the game keeps going on with our Gilded Goose and our Heart of Cure and everything, there's no reason to rush. Diane, that's aggressive. Uh, Alright, well... Would I rather block with Heart of Kieran or... I guess they could kill it in response, so let's block. Alright, I mean... I'm just blocking the two two twos. I could goose on the Suspear. If they have a spell, we lose it, but whatever. If they have a spell two, four, five, six, seven. Yeah, I'm just gonna block here. Uh oh. Uh. All right. Well. Um. Maybe we are no longer alive. Um. The old Cleavester. Coming in clutch. Man, from not being able to lose to not being able to win. I think we're still okay. Um, we still questing beast attack. Beast can handle the creature. Embercleave is certainly a magic guard. A lot of words. A lot of words. Definitely would like them to brick this turn.
All right, so, I mean, we get the block. We take two as double strike and trample. I guess I could actually just, like, double block and take nothing. Only lose one creature. That's fine. I think I want to keep the Heart of Kirin. Maybe I should actually block with Heart of Kirin and Bone Crusher Giant. Then the first strike kills the Bone Crusher. Heart of Kirin kills the creature. That's actually good. I like that. Like, Questing Beast is going to kill them pretty quick, and I think we're, we're in racing mode right now, so... So now I, like, re-equip something, which is fine, because these have less power anyway. Sure. I think we're fine here. Questing Beast number two... Not as good as Questing Beast number one. So, I mean, we're attacked. Like, they're just dead in two turns here. You know, like, we get a Vigilance to attack twice. The question is, do I want to loot? Or do I want to pump? I think I want to loot. That's not bad. So, ship the Beast. No. Crew. Attack with both Vigilancers. I kind of wish I could cast this Bone Crusher Giant, but I can't. It's fine. They're just dead on board, you know? Like, we're certainly playing a lot of really powerful magic cards. Uh, no doubt about that. Land. Playing a lot of Mythics. So they get a monkey. Um, we have to have to double block the the Karizev. Should we just go to one here? And then kill them next turn? Do we risk just going to one? We could Heart of Cure and Questing Beast on Karizev, and one of them would die, and then put like the Put the Mystic on the, the Ragavan just to like not take any more damage. Um, then we would lose one of our 4-4s. Four I guess we still we kill him anyway, right? Because we have the uh, the two from Bone Crusher Giant. All right, yeah, sure. Sorry, Lana Ralphs. Under the bus. Now, if they had Embercleave number two to put on the Sysphere, that would be gas. <laughs> Alright, I mean, nothing, nothing we can do, man. I guess it, it's actually pretty sick. If we had just taken the damage and gone to one, we would have won the game. Um, we, we would have blocked both four fours on both small creatures and just taken the the the, the four from the, the the pirate. That's pretty funny. <laughs> All right, I mean that's fine. I think now that we 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 recognize Amber Cleaves and a, a magic card that exists, we'll do a lot better. Uh, we do have two abrades in our deck. The braid the abrades are huge. Um, certainly changes things. Um. I might be interested in bringing Stubborn Denial back in. Probably not, though. If we have four Oko in our deck. Wait, we're fine. This is, this is fine. That was a, an aberration. No one worry. Everyone stop panicking. You're panicking. Relax. All right? Everything's going to be fine. Don't you worry. Let's, let's watch this video really fast. Game dev designs, carefully designs game. Speedrunner. <laughs> Speedrun on the game. That one's for Zibby. I don't think Zibby's that smart, though. Alright, let's go. This is fine. It's not great. Uh, it's a little slow, but we're on the play. On the draw, I'd probably, probably ship this one, but... 
Harvester's good. Wolf is good. We have pain-free mana. Put a mulligan to six. All the parasitic mechanics, energy, food. The question is how aggro on this abrade are we going to be? Are we gonna fire it off on, on the, the first creature they play? I think we are. I don't think saving a braid for Emberclave is reasonable. With the the way our hand lines up. Gong. And they they love their uh little pooper creatures. God damn. Harvester is cool. A little more on the proper power scale than Smuggler's Copter, you know? That's all they got? Wow, they probably have an abrade for my Harvester. Um, or they have an abrade for the Wicked Wolf. That would suck. Um, that would allow me to crew the Harvester, though. We could also just, like, Shockland Once Upon a Time Bone Crusher Giant. Hmm. Yeah, I don't like playing Wicked Wolf here. It just seems guaranteed to die. Um, like, I'm not affecting the board sucks, you know? Um, we play this, they abrade it, and they just not, Yeah, but then, then they're going to abrade the Harvester, which is also bad. Like, is it better to have Harvester in play than Wicked Wolf and killing one of the two twos? Maybe that's actually just better. Yeah, you know what? I think it's fine. Go Cackler, because they have a Legend. Wow. Wow. Um, now, I still think they have a braid, so I'm not going to crew an attack here. We'll just say go. Maybe they value the Harvester over the Wolf anyway. Or Smash Smithereens. Uh, that's pretty annoying. Alright, we're at 11. Um... It kind of sucks. We only have four artifacts in our entire deck. I guess we have food, too, but... All right. Um, okay. This is fine. That's also fine. I guess we... Once upon a time first. Woo! Almost missed. Not cool. Um, I think we just... We leave Bone Crusher up. Yeah. Let me just say go. Bone Crusher up. We get the Glory Banger up next turn. They could have Ember Cleave here, but we have the Bone Crusher, which is fine, so. Where's it going? Because they're going to have no creatures. Stomp ya. Bang ya. Glorbringer's so good. Yeah, this is funny. Attacking here is good. 
They, they still have an Ember Cleave in play. We still need to kill them before they can, like, put it on something, so... Forge Devil on the Lanor Elves. That's fair. Devil like card you should be, be aware of in this format for sure. All right, they have a 2-2 Double Strike. We've got Bone Crusher Giant and Wicked Wolf. I think we're just going to say go. Oh boy, what's this? What's this? Well, we thought we were ahead of the metagame by playing Glorybringer. Our opponent is ahead of the metagame by playing Kari Zev's Expertise for our Glorybringer. Um, that is insane. Okay. I guess it's not actually the end of the world. They're going to kill one of our creatures, we're going to block the other creature, they're still going to have nothing and we're still going to have a Glorybringer, but... No, I'm, I'm, not, I'm, not, I'm not playing the PTQ today. I played the PTQ yesterday. Uh, John has a hockey game this afternoon. Which I got a coach. And then I'm playing the PTQ tomorrow and Sunday. So, busy week. Wolf is dead. We block here. Hope we don't have the uh, plus two, plus zero. Oh. Can you imagine? Oh, my God. I have a shock. All right, that's almost as bad. Uh, heh. We get it back untapped, though. That's hilarious. I didn't even think about that. Alright, well... The game's afoot here. Uh, I guess we're exerting. So now it's been exerted twice. That's hilarious. Alright, they have zero cards in hand. So we need to break this turn. Not Monastery or Spear. That's for sure. Whew. Alright. Now we draw any creature. Go! <laughs> Honk! Honk! I need to be careful which... That's, that's a really good idea. Where's my book? I lost my book. My, my idea book. Reckless Bushwhacker. That has haste. That has haste. Oh, I can't equip them. I can't equip. That's good. Um, all right. So we are going to just gain life with the goose. I'm not sure why they would play that. Cause now I'm just, I'm just gonna glory banger it. Like they could have waited and try and draw land and cleave me all in one turn. It's kind of weird. It's, it's equip three. They're one short. Yeah, I don't know about that play. It plays a little weird. Uh, all right. Can't play that one either. Like now we're just gonna glory bringer and kill their creature. I think that was that was a mistake. I think I think they should have waited. I guess they're at, oh my god they're at six. I remember, I remember, how, remember how low they were. That's the thing about glory bringers. You forget it actually deals damage to your opponent too, um, which is kind of nice. So all right, we're gonna exert. Play Arctic Aaron and so you go. Cackler. All right. I think we're fine here. We have six life from food. If we could just draw any creature, we would have won the game like four turns ago, but... 
We get to block and gain six. So I don't think they can kill us. Barring, like... I guess the, uh, the plus two plus O oh still wouldn't kill us, I don't think. Alright, cool. So, slightly awkward draws still worked out for us. It's good. Um, didn't draw Oko ever either. But sweet. This deck seems good, honestly. I like a lot of things this deck is doing. Um, definitely like a lot of the things this deck is doing. I won. 1 0. 1 0. A nice close match there to start off this year deck live. If you're just tuning in, welcome to the stream. My name is Jim Davis. If you haven't followed the stream with that follow button, of course, watching on YouTube. Make sure you follow on there. If you want to support my stream for free, it takes three seconds. Subscribe to the channel. Like the video. Leave a comment saying that I am fat from eating too much turkey. Tell me, tell me how your turkey was. I don't know. Whatever. But any comments or likes you leave help the algorithms for YouTube. So thank you so much. Appreciate it. This is your Ear Deck Live. This is Pretty Lights Fam's deck. Uh, Ear Deck Live or one and them. Double once upon a time. Heart of Cure. This is good. It's good. Yield Honker. Temple Garden. We got an interesting one here, folks. Temple Garden, Vessel of Nascency. Not a uh, standard opening. Alright, we got Glorybringer with no red sources. We're taking Group Brown Crag here. Give him the old goose. Give him the old goose. Oh, the band deck was pretty good. Went four and one. Um, we liked it. What is this? Are they a field deck? All right, we're definitely playing Hardicure and are we playing another goose? How was that? Good old magic online, never change. I think we're just gonna say go. I don't see a point of playing another goose. If there, there might be a Wrath of God deck. Let's just chill. We'll play Chandra next turn. We're about to find out what their deck does. Banishing Light, Silk Wrap, Supreme Verdict, Temple Garden. And they took Banishing Light. So some sort of enchantment deck. Uh, all right. I mean, they're going to take the Heart of Cure in order to play Chandra. It's pretty good for us. Don't know what support there is for, like, enchantressy stuff, but... All right, you're up. And you're already at 12? What are they, shock twice? They've shocked four times. Damn. I don't think we have any disenchants in our sideboard. Um, we have a braids. So that's... Could be problematic. Um... I guess we're like... Gilded Goose is so awkward, you know? Um, alright. We could just like play Bone Crusher Giant. I think we're probably just playing it. They could certainly wrath us, but yeah, there are pretty cool enchantment cards floating around for sure. They have a wrath. God damn it! No, Herald of the Pantheon. Enchantments cost one less, and if you play an enchantment, gain a life. Well, I guess I'm dumb for playing Bone Crusher Giant. Oath of Jace. Pioneer has been pretty fun so far. Not going to lie. Discarding Oath of Jace land. So I really wanted to save the Glorybringer for post-Wrath. But now I think we just need to cast it. Honestly.
Like, they're at three. They basically have to have Wrath. They do have Wrath. They still have Once Upon a Time to find another Glorybringer, so... Nuclear Wessels. Silk Wrap does hit this, does not trigger it, because it's not a target of a spell, it's a target of a triggered ability, and they still concede. They could have Silk Wrapped this, they weren't dead yet. Whatever. Alright, so cool enchantment deck. Um, cool. We're going to bring in uh, definitely Stroke. And probably Dispute, even though it's a bad counterspell, or just a counterspell. Uh, maybe Chandra plays... Uh, Harvester plays around Wrath. What's coming out? Uh, definitely... Wicked Wolf. Well, they do have that creature, but... We can Bone Crusher Giant. They have the Bone Crusher also, probably. Just bring in the counterspells... Scavenging Ooze is pretty bad. I guess, actually, Ooze might be good if they were doing some sort of graveyard shenanigans. You cut, like, two Bone Crusher Giants. Um, Idol on Blossoms is a really good magic card. Do I want this card? They're kind of, like, control-y deck, so, like, it seems fine. Yeah, I think I'm fine with this. Honestly, not sure, but... This thing is, like, basically Gruul, just splashing for um, Oko and then Counterspells and Royal Scions. Uh, we can keep this. We can definitely keep this. Like the old stubby D here. Forest go. Once upon a time. Alright. Uh, stomping ground, sure. Our man is a little awkward, but we're gonna Elvish Mystic. Thank God. Now our hand's really good. So now he gets a stomp and play Goose, so we're just curving out perfectly. If we didn't play a creature there, I was going to have trouble deciding if I was in a hard cast Bone Crusher or not. And now I get to play Bone Crusher with Stubborn Denial, or if I draw a land, I can go Questing Beast Stubborn Denial. Wrap it up. Love it. This deck is nice. Suspension field enters the battlefield to make exile dark creature which upness to be greater until suspension field leaves the battlefield. If I knew I was drawing a land, I would definitely let this resolve and just Questing Beast, but if we don't draw... If we let this resolve and we don't draw a land, now Stubborn Denial is down anyway. Maybe we just save this for later. I think this is fine. I think this is fine. We draw, we draw any land, and this is great. And even if we don't draw a land, we still have the Questing Beast them once upon a time. Son of a bitch. That's fine. Yeah, like, I think I'd rather just save the Stubborn Denial for, like, Starfield of Nyx or whatever, like, big card they're going to play. I don't think protecting our, our random 4-3 when they're at 20 life is super relevant, so. We've also missed a land drop, too, so. It's fine. Wish we had some disenchants. Oh, okay, well, those last few draw steps were not very good. Um, alright. Guess we're just taking a land. Might as well be Botanical Sanctum tapped. I 
Right now, four spikes also just fine too. So, uh, it's kind of annoying. We draw a land. We're gonna. Actually, we 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 Glurbringer. Never mind. This is all great. This is all great. Everything is awesome. Everything is cool when you're glory banging. Would Revelry be better than Naturalize? Probably Revelry. Seems reasonable to me. Just like, killing enchantments not really like a super important part of the metagame. Myth Realized Starfield Mystic. See, the thing is, like, I li I kind of like their deck, but I don't think that Starfield Mystic and Herald are the way to go, because you're just opening yourself to removal that would have been dead otherwise, you know? The goal, the cool thing about playing an enchantment deck is that you just don't turn on any of their removal. All right, they took, uh... Planes in their hand, and they played the planes, sure. So yeah, I think this game is like pretty over. Um, let's diversify ourselves a little bit here. They were playing blue in the first game, right? Dance of the Mance is very possible. Dance of the Mance is a very reasonable card for them to have. Dance the Mance. Dance the... Dance the Mance. You were supposed to get me the red Mega Man. Now I can't make Ultra 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 Mega Man. You dirty cheap ass piece of crap. I'll kill you. I want you to die. And they're dead. You are dead. I hate to tell you, but you are dead. Hey, Glorybringer's tight. Whew. This deck is nice, Pretty Lights. I like this deck. Alright, 2-0. 2-0. Oh. Oh. Let's go. There, right, folks, that uh, stream's brought to you by bcwsupplies.com. Go do your Christmas shopping. Alright, go buy yourself a new deck binder. Go buy yourself a nice deck box. Don't use those stupid baseball card binders and the crappy little plastic deck boxes, all right? Treat yourself. It's the holidays. BCWsupplies.com. Check it out. Use promo code JIM10. Go buy your Christmas stuff, all right? Check it out. Also, Cardboard Live is the bomb. Check the overlay out. Check Cardboard Live out. If you're a streamer, get involved. Cardboard Live. Cardboard.live. Hey, Oka. That's cool. Put a mulligans to six. Put a mulligans to five. All 20 month resub. You great. Thanks for resub. Appreciate that. Of course, the best way to support me as a magic player and a streamer is only $5 a month. That's it. It's like a Starbucks coffee a month. And uh, you sub to the stream, and what do you get? Well, you get to check out all the awesome emotes on stream, you get no ads access to my VODs, private Discord chat server, Christmas cards on Christmas. It's just a win-win a for everyone. So hit that sub button, only $5 a month. Love you all. Once upon a time. I'm looking for like a blue-green duel here. Don't know how good Wicked Wolf is going to be, so let's just take a, the land. Who is that? Tim! New sub. What's your name? Where are you from? Welcome, my friend. Also, that Twitch Prime... Twitch Prime subs are free. If you're an Amazon Prime user or a Twitch Prime user, your subscription costs nothing. Harden scales. All right. So, Twitch Prime, hook it up. It's like a good standard hand, right? Oh, go...
Tim from Boston. Boston. Thanks, Tim. Appreciate it. Long Tusk Cub. How about Dead Tusk Cub? Oh, man. Chandra, too. This thing is gas. Look at all these cards. They're all so good. Um... Do we Chandra the Cub or do we Wicked Wolf the Cub? Whew. Chandra's really good. I think it's Chandra. Chandra gives more mana for next turn, so. I guess Shotter dies to a Ballista, but yeah, our hand is literally four Ravenous Chupacabras. A Chupacabra. All right, they have another Cubby. Oh my god, this is embarrassing. This is just embarrassing. Um, two, four. I guess we just like pop the top card. What a rather Glory Banger or Wicked Wolf. Probably wolf, because the banger can kill bigger things. Now let's pop top card first. Alright, land. Opponent's like, I'm still standing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Game's close. Ooh, tapping out, tapping out. Okay. Um, yeah. I mean, we're gonna want probably a braid kills a uh, constrictor and the the cubby. Uh, we have no way to destroy a enchantment. We can't kill the hardened scales, but don't think that's that bad. I probably don't want these stubby D's. Um, I want these roasts. Bone Crusher does not seem great here. Uh, I don't think it kills enough things. Um, everything else seems good. I think I'm reasonably happy with this. Those scales are looking pretty soft. Softened scales. Ah, uh, Doomsday Alarm. Doomsday Alarm. Hey, Zibby. The world is ending. Zombie apocalypse. Yep. Yep, that's what I thought. Zibby had fun hanging out with us for Thanksgiving last night. We had Nicole's family over, and we brought Zibby in to hang out with us. Zibby got a carrot. He sat in my lap while we were eating dinner. He's a good Zibby. He's a good Zibby. Everyone enjoyed seeing him. He's very popular. Man. Uh, this hand's good. Gonna keep. Gonna keep. Blooming Marsh. A Tomb with Aether. Excellent. Much prefer that to... Uh, Hardened Scales. The Hardened Scales decks are much worse than enough Hardened Scales in play. So, give me the old Honker. And we're probably just Okoing. Constrictor. Alright, well, I think we Oko the Constrictor into a 3-3. Three, three. Um, because it really is that good. Uh, and we can just kill it next turn with the Wicked Wolf. Otherwise, they can do, like, nasty stuff. So, yeah, just do that. Give me an elk. Is there a bad Zibby? He did, he did pee on me yesterday, so... Yes, occasionally he is bad. I was holding him for a long time. It's not his fault. He's actually, he's actually pretty, pretty good about that. Usually, he's able to kind of, like, let me know if he has to go. A 1-1 one, one Walking Ballista. And a Fatal Push. 
All right, sure. So attack Oko. We draw Lana Elves. Uh, so Oko's gonna. Actually, Oko, that's not gonna die actually. So we're just gonna uh, we bone crush. Uh, we bone crush the the ballista. Then uh, they get to fizzle it. Hmm. I think we still do it though. We bone crush our ballista. They shoot Oko. We land our elf, and we say and we make a food and say go. They constrictor attack Oko. I guess we could hard cast Bone Crusher. It's like fine. That's actually that play is fine. Yeah, sure. All right, maybe that's better. Like, plus the really isn't doing much against us. It's not particularly great. Um, shouldn't be easy for them to kill my Bone Crusher, so Oko's pretty safe. Sure, whatever. They just concede. Oko does that to people. God, this deck is good. Like, I'm not riffing here. Like, Pretty Lights, your deck actually seems insane. I want to work on it. I want to make some changes to it. But the core of this deck just seems phenomenal. I may actually just play this, play this in the PTQ tomorrow. There's just so many good cards in this deck. And it just seems to line up very well with, like, small creatures as well as uh, flying over, uh, what's it called? Uh, zombie tokens. I mean, you can just put good cards in the sideboard. You can play, like, Crumble to Dust on our sideboard instead of Blood Sun. Just at least give it to them, you know? All right. Uh, it's not amazing, but I think it's a keep. It's like turn three Chandra. This is fine. Like Blood Sun's also just like not good against uh, the Golgari field decks, which I think is the most popular field deck. Um, I played it at the PT yesterday. I played two mirrors. Um, what is this? Thought seems to be bad here. Fatal push. That's not bad at all. That's actually great. Um, so, Castle Lockthwain, Thoughts. All right. Now our hand is a lot worse, uh, but there's plenty of bangers in our deck, so let's just draw one of them. We also are making a lot of food, too, so this is whenever you've attacked. All right. Alpine Moon is the same problem as Blood Sun, where it just gets it just gets abrupt decayed. So, yes, I actually haven't beaten this mono black deck in like a, a week and a half. Uh, so, even though I've made my deck to beat it, basically, Scrounger, sure. Uh, need a spell. That's a spell. That's a spell. That's a good spell. Stomp that bad boy out. Get a roll in here. Good spell. Good spell. I think the black deck is definitely beatable. It just like, I just keep losing. If you stumble, they just kill you, you know? Mama said stomp you out. Don't play Rankle, please. Swift end? Sure. Take four. Fool. Where are my, uh, my, my glory bangers at and stuff, you know? Alright. Um, I mean, we're not attacking with the... We're not blocking the Blood Soak Champion... We're just gonna like make some food. I just want to make a food and sack a food and play Lana Ralphs. We're, we're not even gonna attack. Yeah, we're gonna just uh, play Lana War, play Land Tapped, 
goal being to make a food and sack a food and start gaining life and buying time and draw of our, our big uh, our big boomers. Like you've drawn like two actual spells this game, so we need to uh, to improve on that. Yep. No meat vault attack. Ah, oh, we're lagging. Questing Bizzle. They have one card left, and they're leaving mana up. That concerns me a little bit, but go get him, Daddy. Best sleeve color, Mulberry. BCW, matte front mulberries. Ooh. We're in Castle Lockthwain mode? Questing Beast, go get, go get it done. Smuggler's Copter? Sure. Might be turning this around, folks. Questing Beast is certainly good. Glory Banger. Listen, we didn't draw spells for the first like four turns of the game, right? And now we get the sideboard like magma sprays and abrades and stuff. Woo! Woo! Man. Magic's so much easier when my viewers break the format and I don't even have to do anything. Mama said, bang you out. Why would mommy say that? Um, that is true. Noxious Brass not great against us. Big Monkey, I saw the professor's review. I don't agree with it at all. Um, the so the the matte fronts are a little stickier. Here, I'll show you. The matte front BCWs have a little stick to them, which I like a lot. They're not they don't glide super easily. So the good news is they don't slip everywhere. So when you're shuffling them, they don't fall off a table. They don't fall everywhere. Look. Look at this. See? This is my, uh, what deck is this? It's a Banfield deck. So, in, shuffle. In, shuffle. In, shuffle. I like it. A little bit of stick. If you want a smoother shuffle, the, the, the gloss fronts definitely shuffle better. But I love the matte fronts. They're insane. They're super awesome. They're, yeah, I, I don't understand his complaint about them that... The shuffle, because the shuffle is phenomenal. The shuffle is great. Anyway, me the shuff a, a s m r shuffling videos. Do they ship overseas? I don't know, honestly. If they do, it's probably expensive. I honestly, but Glorybringer is really good. Yeah. All right. So what's what sideboard here? Uh, Magma spray and a braid. Uh, I, and harvesters are great. And then uh, what do we not want? I would say that we don't want Stubborn Denial. We don't want Chandra. And then... What else do we cut? Everything's so good. Um, Bone Crusher's good. We got the Royal Scions, maybe. Yeah, you know what? Let's get the Royal... They're kind of slow. I like this a lot, actually. These are all of our kind of slow conditional cards. We're just bringing in... Six awesome cards. Yeah, I don't know what he means like by catching. Like it does it isn't like like the sleeves just like they shuffle nice. I'm not just saying this, like these are the sleeves I use in literally every tournament. Like they just you just gotta give them the old the old one too, you know? Bam. You gotta like well, obviously I screw up I screw up shuffling, but all right, I have performance anxiety. I'm going to stop trying to shuffle real cool on stream. Everyone's going to make fun of me. Keep. I guess Heart of Kieran is not awesome uh, in the matchup. Night Market Lookout. Sure. 
All right. Um, magma spray. Yeah, it's fine. We're definitely gonna uh, just get our goosey out there. A little goose, a little goose action. We got a little bone crusher action. Legions end my goose. The worst part of Magic Online is the lack of honk noise when you cast the Gilded Goose. Agree. Okay. Um. Yeah, we're gonna we're gonna stomp the the Mocha. I think Heart of Kieran should go uh, post in sideboarding. I think this is actually not great. They have four Fatal Push, and it's kind of hard to use. I think it's an easy card to sideboard out. That's a mistake on our part. Um, we're just gonna stomp. Want to spray and uh, like a scrounger or something? So I'm still standing. All right, we don't currently have an answer to Smuggler's Copter, and that is somewhat troublesome. Um, Heart of Kieran, like, sort of answers it, not really. Um, I think we're probably better off just playing Heart this turn than and, and not taking damage from our lands and trying to defend against Copter next turn with a Bone Crusher Giant. Um, but... I'm a little... I think we're a little light on answers to Smuggler's Copter. That's pretty good. Okay. The old Night Market Lookout. Powerful magic card. It's guarding Swamp. That's pretty good for us. Could have been like a, a graveyard base creature for extra value, so... That's actually really good. Okay. Um, so now we could just play Bone Crusher Giant and try and, like, crew defensively, but they didn't play anything. I think Swift End or Fatal Push are both very likely cards for them to have. So I'm just going to I'm just gonna stomp, I think, and leave up Magma Spray and play a Tap Land. We could double spell on the Copter. It just feels really bad to me. I don't think Brazen Borrower is good in this deck now. I think Brazen Borrower is one of the most overrated cards, just in general. I think it's fine. Wow, no creatures. All right, so they have all removal, uh, which is great because we drew Oka. That is phenomenal. They could have Noxious Grass, but I think we're just going to fire up Oka here. Uh, the question is, do we fire up Heart of Kirin? Um... Hmm. I mean, they can't grasp anything else, so... But they can also have Swift End and Fatal Push. You could just play Bone Crusher Giant here and just say go. And wait on Oko. But we get some food value. We could also just make the food and things start attacking. They're at 22. It's a lot. And just ship the Oko. Just do everything. We could Elk the Copter also. Uh, but... That's actually pretty good. Maybe we just do that, actually. Just Elk the Copter. And then we have Glorbringer to kill the 3 3. I think I actually like that. I think I like that best. Oh, go, it's just insane. Just a very dumb magic card. And then, do we crew up on Heart of Kirin? I think we do. Uh, it's probably gonna die, but I think that's fine. Actually, you know what? Maybe we don't. Why let them use their mana? Yeah, actually, I'm just gonna play, I'm gonna tap it so go here. I think Fatal Push is very likely. Alright, so they have the, they have the Grasp, which is fine. Um, we're gonna crew a million times in response. Oh, this is dumb. I'm being an idiot. The whole reason not to crew is play around push, and uh, now I'm just playing into push. But 
We're going to make them not gain one life, but this is just stupid. This is a really bad play. I'm just an idiot. I just didn't... I forgot about what we were previously doing. So they have a push here. We're really dumb. Um, what we're doing is not bad, per se, but I just forgot about the fact that we were playing around a different card. Yeah. Wow. Okay. No push. All right. Well, now you get to... Uh, I guess we'll see what they do. I think I think Swift End is very likely then. Not punished. All right, so we're just gonna double Bone Crusher here. Um. We're trying to save Glorybringer, trying to get them to use their swift end. Like so. Then we're going to play our other Bone Crusher Giant. The goal here is to keep our Glorybringer safe and also block the Smuggler's Copter. Smuggler's Elk. Yeah, we're definitely ahead now. Eh, I mean, yeah, super ahead, but. So they're gonna play the murderous rider. Oh, they, have, they still have one card left. Let me trade here. They're not playing murderous rider. Interesting. So it still smells like another swift end or something like that. So we're not gonna glory bring her. Kind of weird, honestly. I guess they're starting to castle now. Fourteen. Castle's so good. Eleven. And cast Murderous Rider. No, cast Scrounger. Also fine. This is this is the turn we glare bringer. Let's turn off their castle basically. And make Swift End a lot worse too. Yeah. Not playing Rider over Scrounger is a little weird, but No noxious grasps here. Tapping four. I suppose Kalidus would be a problem. Uh, we struggle to beat that card if it has. Nope. Okay. Kalidus is tough. If they can get it up to uh, to five or more toughness, that's actually a pretty hard. Actually, I'm sorry. We have four Oka. I like how I keep saying, "Oh, we can't beat this card." Oh, we have Oka. Never mind. Oka just answers literally everything. All right, what a good day for your deck live. We are four and zero, oh, and it's been mostly very convincing. Um, this deck's great. What's five zero? Oh? Let's get a trophy here on your deck live. Who wants to see a trophy? Get some hype in chat, please. A little hype in chat for a trophy. Or right, folks, sale. Black Friday sale, fifty percent off. You know you want it. It's a pretty good deal. The shirt's super nice. I know. I beat Mono Black rigged stream. I've lost the Mono Black like five times in the PTQs this week. Uh, mono Red, Enchantress, Mono Black, and uh, Hardened Scales. Yeah, it's almost like Oko, Wicked Wolf, Once Upon a Time, Gilded Goose are good. It's kind of weird, you know? Just mix those cards with the busted old red cards. It's funny how that works, right? Yeah, I would like to play against Field of Dead also. I think that would be a nice test for us. I 
That'd be a nice test for us. Also, folks, like I said, coolstuffinc.com. Go buy your Christmas presents. The killer in you is the killer in me. I am already considering this deck for the PTQ tomorrow. Without being 5 up. So. Already considering the deck for the PTQ tomorrow. I definitely would change things. But. Deck seems nice. We'll discuss the deck at the end. This is a Year Deck Live. So. Remember, folks, new website. If you haven't seen it yet, jimdavismtg.com. Want to see your deck played live on stream? Do you? My articles? Here it is. All the information. Your deck live is public. Holy diver! Do I have a list? You're looking at it. There it is. It's on the overlay. This is uh, Pretty Light Spam's uh, teamer deck, and uh, it seems nice. Seems nice. Did your opponent's list look, look like this one, Holy Diva, or was it different? Holy Diva! If you haven't seen Holy Diva's stream, please check it out. Holy Diva is awesome. And uh, get a little shout out in chat. A mob wants to do that, that'd be great. God, this deck's good. Uh, yeah, keep. Holy Diva! Yeah, like, Glory Ringer's just insane. We're, we're 4 in a league, about to be 5 up. I would like to play against uh, a Field of a Dead deck. Once upon a time. Okay. <laughs> Holy Diva, I love that you have a, uh, a command on MTG Bot. That's great. I'm just singing that song. All right, we might have a mirror here. Might have a mirror here. All right. Um. I think I attack. I don't think they'll block. Nah. All right, fine. I won't attack. I'm a coward. If they block, it's really bad for us. I'm a coward. You be gone too long in the midnight sea. Okay. Somewhat of a mirror here. Make a food go. Okay. Well, uh, no, doesn't kill, doesn't kill Oko. Wait, yes it does, yes it does, yes it does. Heart of Kirin plus two, love it. We're gonna lose... No, we're not going to lose anything. This is the this is the best. God, this is like it's the nut. The nut. Stomp. Crew. Getcha. S concession on the spot. That's power you can't buy. You can buy it. I guess the next all mythic rares, but. All right. Um, mirror's a little weird, though, because we don't have a lot of answers in the mirror for stuff. Um, what do I do in the mirror? Psych There's a one... I got to tell you, one of the reasons I love streaming is I can make any super obscure reference to anything, and someone in chat will always get it. Psychmancer is totally correct. That was from Batman Begins. Just super obscure line a character happens to say in the movie. No context. Just, and someone gets it every time. Just love it. Love it. Yeah, that, 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 that is probably the first time in history Oko died to damage the turn after it was played. Um, so we don't know if they're actually playing right or not, right? We just saw Simic Lands, Lana Rolf, and Oko. Um, we probably want to braid. I don't think we want uh, Dispute. Dispute only answers Oko. Is there any answer to Oko in these colors? I don't think so, right? Um, I think I want Roast. I'm going to say I don't want Stubborn Denial on the draw. Um, yeah, Fry, LOL. 
Um, I think scavenging ooze seems fine. Harvester's like kind of cool because flying just seems really good. Um, but I'm just going to leave it like this, I think. Well, we can just attack Oko. Like, you know, and the problem is if we draw Mystic Dispute after Oko's already in play, it's just a terrible blank card. They're probably mostly green. So, I'm doing this. Thanks, Thia, Th Thylian. Appreciate that. New website is awesome. That one's been in the bank for a while, too. We, like, I paid for it to, to be done. It sat there for a bit. We worked on it. But then I didn't have donation bonus leagues up. I didn't finish the content. It's been like... Uh, it's actually been live for like a few months, but I just didn't say anything about it. Ooh, this is a hand. All right. Okay. They can kill my goose. This hand's a little scary, but... Oh, yeah, I think they're not playing red. I think they're just like a green blue deck. It's like a a, a basically mono green splash blue for Oko deck it floats around. So, Thiley and resub two months. Welcome back. It's month number two. I mean, you, you chose you chose to come back. Thanks so much. All right. Turn to Oko again on the play. Lame. I guess we Oko back. And then we can Wicked Wolf to kill their 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 elk. Urgh. Exchange control of the food and the gilded goose. I think I'm okay with that. Steel Leaf champion, roasty toast. They're, they're gonna seed concession in five. Four, three, two, one. No? Keep it how fast they scooped in game one, I just figured, you know? So they just, they just have Oko number two. That's basically just what it was. Um, but now I get to kill this Oko. All right, now we'll try again. All right, concession in five, four, three, two, one. Bang, right on time. 5-0, your deck live. Um, this deck is gas. This deck is awesome. Uh, Pretty Lights fam. Let's get a round of applause for Pretty Lights fam. Don't always do a lot of winning on your deck live because usually we're playing decks that are a little untuned and we're kind of giving advice and stuff. But god damn. Um, this deck is great and I'm probably playing in the PTQ tomorrow. Um, all right, let's talk about what I would change. Um, Elite, one year resub. Welcome back. Thank you. Okay. Um, I think I would... I kind of want a third heart of Kieran. And I think I would like to shave a, quest, uh, a Bone Crusher Giant and Bokush Giant was pretty good. I don't even know. Maybe that's just perfect. You know? The one scavenging is we just, like, never drew it. So it's, like, hard to know how good it is. Um, it seemed like it would definitely be fine. But... Not sure. Um, I don't know how much I would change, honestly. I definitely want the third heart of Kieran. I think that's, like, pretty, uh... Pretty big. Like, Heart of Cure is just so good with Oko and Royal Scions. Um, I think Scions is pretty good. Um, we never cast Stub, but it, it's very good. I'm very happy to have two Stubs in this deck. So, I kind of want to go, like, minus an Ooze plus a Heart of Kieran. Um, I think I'm just pretty happy with this mix, honestly. I kind of want to shave one Bone Crusher Giant, but I'm not sure what I would play. Um, 
I think Once Upon a Time is still good in this deck. I think Once Upon a Time is, is extra good because a lot of our removal spells are also creatures. So if we need a kill spell, we can find Bone Crusher Giant or Glorybringer or Wicked Wolf off our Once Upon a Time, which is pretty good. So I think I'm I'm pretty happy Once Upon a Time in this deck. Um, I, otherwise, I think the main deck is like pretty good, honestly. Um, again, I could see maybe shaving a Bone Crusher, but it was quite good. Questing Beast is great. Um, I don't hate the idea of rekindling Phoenix somewhere in stack or sideboard. Um, I think that card's underplayed in this format, and flying is so good. Uh, I don't know if I want to board it, but I'm not sure how it would fit in the main deck. But it's a possibility. I think we're a little heavy on blue lands, also. So we have 4, 8, 12, we have 13, eh, it's only 13, we have 13 blue sources, 4, 8, it's only 13 red sources. Our mana base is a little, is a little tough. Uh, we have 4, 8, 12, 16, 17 green sources. So once upon a time, it's, it's honestly important for mana fixing too. Um... So I guess the, the red, double red's a little hard. It's, like, we didn't have any mana problems at all, which is, like, a little fortunate. Um, I think Stubborn Denial's great. Um, I think if you want to be, like, much more linear, you could play, not play it. But it's, like, it's going to be fine against, like, a lot of decks where, like, you're just countering their Oko or their Fatal Push or whatever. And then it's going to be insane against Hour of Promise decks and stuff like that. So, um... It's probably just going to be this for the main deck. Uh, Land-wise, like, I'm saying we don't need, need as much blue, because realistically, we're just playing... There's just eight blue cards in our deck, you know? Um, Love Struck Beast? No, I don't want that card. Uh, like, I wouldn't mind another red-green duel, but I don't think there's a playable one, honestly. Uh... Like maybe Spire. I don't. I just don't. Have, I don't think there's a playable red green duel. Honestly, besides if we stop going to rip and crag, we can't play game trail. So I don't think I want to play mana confluence. It's just not worth it. And aether hub is not good either. We have, we have no energy stuff. So um, I think the main deck's good. Cyborg. Uh, I don't love mystical dispute. I'm not sure what we're countering with mystical dispute that really matters. Um, Carpulsion forest is not legal. I would snap play it. Unfortunately, in Pioneer, the mana bases aren't even. Um, there's, there's um, the enemy colors have fast lands and pain lands, and the allied colors don't have either of those. So the allied colored mana for early game decks is really much worse. Um, the mana leak is not legal now. Uh, so mystical dispute. I'm not really about mystical dispute. This card doesn't seem very good to me. I don't know what blue cards we're trying to counter, but are so important. And uh, I don't know if it's appreciably better of a Stubborn Denial or just Anvil Stroke. Um, so I'm not, I think that the sideboard's where I want to make changes. Like, the main deck, honestly, just seems great. So I think I want to cut the disputes. Um, I like Roast, I like a Braid, I like Magma Spray, I like Harvester. Blood Sun, I think, could just be, like, a better hate card for those decks. Um... What is the better hate card? I'm not sure. Like, you could crumble to dust for sure. Uh, crumble to dust is pretty backbreaking. The problem is that if your opponent doesn't draw field naturally, and they ha then, then you can't crumble it. So crumble is definitely worse. And the problem is that both Blood Sun and Alpine Moon just get killed by Abrupt Decay. So that might not be the path against them. We also just have, like, eight or seven big flyers anyway, which is pretty good. Um, I don't want to go crazy on Stubborn Denial. I'd rather, like, mix up the counter spells. Um, Scavenger Use is, like, cute. It seems like a, a nice one of in, like, mono-red, mono-black matchups. 
Unravel the Aether is fine. Um, Ferocidon plays. That card is good against those decks. Um, I could buy Ferocidon, honestly. That's one of the better cards against Field. Um, there's honestly like the, the Stone Rain Falter card. It's kind of cute, but... Um, Angry Spray, a Braid... I also think that we're like a hair soft to heart of I mean uh to Smuggler's Copter. Uh K return just kills all of our elves and stuff. I don't think that's really good. I play field a lot, what am I scared of? Um I would say that Ferocidon is definitely very good. It might be Ferocidon, honestly. And Ferocidon is also fine against like um against like uh, all the field decks, control decks, things like that. I think Crumble isn't good. I think Crumble is only good if you're, like, Oblivion Sowering. Um, so I think if I wanted a card... Hmm. Yeah, I think Blood Sun's bad, though. I think Blood Sun just doesn't affect the board in any way. They can just decay it. They can, If they're Bant, they can bounce it with Teferi, and if they're Golgari, they can just decay it. So I don't like Blood Sun. I don't know if a Chandra's necessary, although Control decks might be good against us. So it's like a, like a nice card to have against like blue white control and things like that. I, I kind of like the one of. Um, so we could do uh, Ferocidon, and Ferocidon's also going to his control decks too. Um, Ravager Worm. <gasps> he's not only awake; he's chewing on something. He never chews on things. Hamsters aren't like gerbils. They don't really chew on things that much. Look at him go. Good job, Zibby. Everyone put, everyone put, your, put your Zibbies in chat. Um, so, yeah, I like Ferocidon a lot. Yeah, gerbils chew everything. Hamsters don't chew that much. Um, and then... Maybe we don't need that many Ferocidons, because, like, we, we have counters against them, too. Maybe we want, like, the third Stubborn Denial... Something like this. I think I would need to play more, but I think I would like to start here. I think this is where I would, um, I would start. Londable, reset, welcome back. Does a Ferocidon have one of the same problems as Blood Sun? The thing is that Ferocidon is just a good magic card. It's a 3-3 three, three that they can't block. You know, so, while, if you, ha if you draw two Blood Suns and then, like, kind of flood out, you just have these enchantments sitting in play waiting to get destroyed... If you have Ferocidon, you're attacking and killing them. So, like, making a tempo positive play of playing a good creature is much better than making a tempo negative play of just tapping through mana and not doing anything. So, yes, the Ferocidon also dies to Abrupt Decay, but it actually does proactive things, too. So, I think Ferocidon is better. Um, so, I kind of like these one Misers, Chandra, and Scavenging Gooses for certain matchups. I kind of just like how we handle things pretty well, and... We're almost sprinkling in things to help answer stuff. Like, how to beat Smuggler's Copter? We start here, right, with the four Okos. And then we also have a couple of Braids, you know, and we can also block it and things like that. You know, how do we kill a Kalidus? Well, four Oko. And then we can also Shonda it, we can Glorybringer it, things like that. How do we beat large creatures? You know, we have Roast and stuff. Um, how do we beat enchantments? I mean, I don't think people are actually playing enchantments. That was kind of just a weird fluke deck, you know? Um, I don't think we need a disenchant in our deck. Um, like, we could play some sort of disenchant, but I just don't think it's really necessary. You could also play, like, one copy of, like, Vivian or something um, as a card that can, like, kill enchantments, but is also, like, good against control. I could buy that. Just, like, a, a good Planeswalker you know, something like that, but, um, Destructive Revelry would be good if necessary. I don't think it's necessary. I think Harvester is very good. I think. Maybe it's not great because we don't have that many creatures that can crew it super well. Like, a lot of our creatures are very big. I could buy Harvester not being good. I could buy, like, another Scavenging Ooze and another Braid over Harvester. Um... Is Reverie better than... Cindervines is actually pretty good, too. Cindervines is a nice card against uh, 
a nice card against uh, Next to Fate also. Is Revelry better than Cindervines? I mean, Revelry's a lot better against, like, Smuggler's Copter and stuff. Um, I could do a deck tag, yeah. You gotta, do, you gotta donate right now, though, before the next league starts. Um, I'm not sure, honestly. Maybe the Harvesters aren't good. Now that I'm thinking about it, like, what are we actually crewing Harvester with that's not, like, already attacking? You know, like, Glorybringer's already attacking. Questing Beast, already attacking. Bone Crusher Giant, that can crew it. Wolf can crew it. The Goose can't crew it, which is, like, we saw come up pretty badly for us. Yeah, I think Harvester's bad, actually. Let's cut Harvester. Um, so that opens up room for us to play, I think, a second Scavenging Ooze. Canary, thanks so much. Appreciate it. Thanks for all you do, Jim. Always appreciate the videos and stream. Answers for Reclamation? That's true, also. The thing is that, like, are we going to bring in um, a Destructive Revelry against, like, Mono Black Aggro to kill their Copters? Probably not, right? Like, it's just too narrow. Maybe bring in, like, one. But Cinder Vines is cool. Um, it's only really good against Nexus. I wouldn't want it against Copter. Um... War of Smart Cured isn't good. I love that card. I've tried to build, to build a number of decks to that card. It's just not good. It's not better than these cards. Um, a Drunk Fool. I kind of want to add an Ooze. What do you do against Is It and Soul? I mean, kill their stuff, I'll go their stuff. I don't know. World Silence is good. I like it. I don't think it's like amazing. But it's definitely fine. I can see, like, shaving one if you if you wanted to find room. I can see, like, shaving a Royal Scions and a Bone Crusher Giant for, like, two Scavenger Gears as main deck. Honestly. That could be reasonable. They are, these are, like, really fine-tuning things that would require more play. Um, so I'm not sure, honestly. I think I would like to just go... Maybe we'll, we'll just go, like, an Ooze. And maybe we'll do, like, one Revelry. Because, like, we're also countering Reclamation 2. So, again, we're kind of, like, covering our bases in different ways. Um, but I think that, uh, I think we're going to we're gonna stop here. I think this is where I would, if I were to play a league, this is what I would play in the next league. Um, and I might play one, like, tonight. Maybe, maybe, maybe me and Nicole will play one tonight and practice the PDUs. I actually think this deck is awesome. I think this deck is really, really good. So, Pretty Lights fam. Well done. What a great Your Deck Live. We 5 of a league. We find a deck for me for the PTQ tomorrow. This deck is great. Um, if you'd like the updated list, I can give it to you in Discord. That's obviously not much. You can just kind of screenshot it too. Uh, big thanks, Pretty Lights fam. you the bomb. Jim D. Dab in chat for you. Thank you for your donation. Appreciate it. Again, Your Deck Live. Thanks so much. Um, we have more Your Deck Lives to do, but this that's it for this one. Watching on YouTube, like, comment, subscribe. Want to see Your Deck Live on stream? Go to JimDavisMTG.com. All right? YouTube folks. I love you.